with uh, Sherry and we'll go around and I'll give Candy a little bit more time too. I'm Sherry Ripley and I work for the Lincoln County Health Department under a TSET Healthy Living Program grant. Okay. I'm John Cobb. Um, I'm currently the administrator over the town of Wellston and a member of the chamber for a few years. My name is Melissa McCauley and I also work with the town of Wellston. I'm Mark Moores. I'm the president of the chamber. I'm Corey Markarian, and I have Mossy's Milk Soapery right here in the Legion. Hi, I'm Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Chad. I'm Kristen. We run the paper. Okay. So. I'm Michelle. I'm not even here. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Allie, are you with a Y or an IE? Or an I or? IE. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to come together um, and discuss ways to better our community and um, our fellow citizens. Um, just be with each one of us as we discuss this this evening and be with us as we go throughout the next month and until we meet again. It's in your name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, call this to order at 6.35. Um, no guest speakers this evening. I didn't change that. So that's supposed to say March's minutes on y'all's sheet. I have it changed on mine. I changed a couple of things after I sent it out. Um, the meeting minutes from March. Y'all's probably says February. Uh, I don't know if everybody had a chance to look at those or not. to approve minutes. All in favor? All right. All opposed? Uh, review and approval of March's treasurer's report. Or reports. There's there might be several. four. There's four. Uh, I like it broken out better, so, actually. So. Did everybody get to see it or don't need to? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I okay. attached it to the lazy. Corey, did you have any questions or? Corey always asks questions. Well, I just didn't know if everybody saw it. That's what I was like, yeah. <laughs> did you, um, did you look up? Well, mm -hmm. you may you may read off the actual report. You just, okay, sure. Because there's a couple that don't have. I don't have any. Sure, absolutely. Um, okay, so for our farm and craft market. Um, It'll change next month, but we were at 761.79, and we stated actually 761.79, uh, and that's got a few hundred dollars since. Yeah. So, um, okay, so treasurer's report. Let's see. On February 28th, the Chamber of Commerce had $5,586.93. Um, total deposit of $2,600. We had quite a few expenditures. Um, the 2000 though, goes into the events part of it and we had some of the Route 66 and even though that's really one big thing we've just been separating out to keep track um, and so we had roughly $2,900 worth of expenses so in just the chamber one we've got um, as of March 31st $5,271.20 in the events uh, section we have $5,372.07 Route 66 sign we now have 900 so the total for all those is eleven thousand five hundred forty-three dollars and twenty-seven cents. So. So what is?
is this at the end of nine this ninety eight seventy nine? Is that at the end of March for total ledger balance? As of March thirty first. Why that's a different one. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's okay. Yeah, that should have been the one. Those are old. These are the ones that should have been rolled out. <clears throat> I need those two tomorrow. Oh, these are Marches. Or, okay. Those are, does those say it says, January? It's a Treasurer's Report as of March 31st, 2021. Yeah, it's one year. Which would have been. Well, I could have emailed the wrong thing. Hold on. <laughs> Please go forth and I will uh, I follow up. <laughs> forwarded the one, but you write off the correct amount. Yes, but like order. I said, I will get, I, let me just look and see what I sent. I just forwarded it. That's okay. <laughs> no, it, it, like, well, it says April. Hold on. You can go ahead, Michael. Okay. I'll just, I'll, uh, I'll chime right back in. <laughs> I make a motion to approve the treasure. <laughs> Sorry. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? <coughs> uh, business arising from previous minutes. Uh, one, maybe volunteers are always needed. Um, talk with me if you would like to sign up for anything. Um, a few of us met with Matt Stutes. Um, he has been working on two logos for us. I'm waiting on the second one. Hopefully I'll have it any minute. Um, to choose from as well as he has built our website um, all we're having to do to wait is wait on the logo and once he has it digital uh, put it into a digital form he can add it to the website and the website can go live um, this will also give us a domain domain name uh, three email addresses will be for all the officers um, so there's not just one email. And then he will also host our website, um, but we will have 100% access to uh, make any changes or because if we, like, if we find somebody that can make the changes without having to pay him to make the changes then. Um, up until it's set in stone, it, all, his payment is covered but like after we say everything's good then any changes he makes after that it's an hourly rate after that um the easter egg hunt uh, was a huge success again this year uh, fun was had by all the children and adults alike um, thank you to everybody again i was not able to be there i had a last minute uh, soccer game with my kid way out of town so um we did ask for donations back of the eggs. I know we got a few, but we're gonna have to buy a bunch because we thought we had 2,400 eggs and they still went just as fast <laughs> as we could put them out there. So, and it's such a massive field, but we really, I mean, it's one of the main events where the kids get to have fun for a little bit. And obviously the more kids we have in town, we're gonna need more eggs. So what did we put? We said we put out twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. Yeah, year. we could have done five thousand. Oh yeah, <laughs> easy. It's the like football field is so that's big. Like that so poor kids. Too. This one, they were lined up at the wrong spot, and I was trying like, no, you need to go down there. By the time they got down there, they were all gone. Oh. <laughs> well, I know we did year. Well, two years previous to last year, we didn't do it, but two years previous, we only did like sixteen hundred, and we felt like we put out a ton, and then. We stepped back to take a picture and we're like, we can't even see them. <laughs> There's like none there. And I talked with uh, Tecumseh Chamber did theirs. They put out 10,000 oh, wow. on theirs and they said they still could have used more. So basically, however many we can get out there, they're gonna go. Um, the kids are gonna have fun with them and not just have you know, two eggs a piece or all the at least with it broken down into categories, you know, you don't have the 10 and over the little bitty ones. <clears throat> um, number four, we did vote last month. We did take over the Route 66 sign donations, etc. cetera. But um, we're talking with John, we do need to come up with a plan slash design for the bricks that we plan on selling. Um, 
this is how we want it laid out because we will have to pre-purchase the bricks, actually put them in the ground, and then as they're sold, we'll pull one out to replace it with one that's been engraved. That way they're already down because it has to be, all of it has to be approved even though the land is there for that purpose. Um, anything that's put there has to be approved by the town. So, but we can, it should be real simple to come up with a good design and I don't see them when they're not gonna have a problem with it. We just need to have that in place. So we'll work on that and hopefully by next meeting, we'll have a actual, when is the next town board meeting, John? May 13th. 13th, okay. I'd like to have, I'll, I will try my best to have one put together by then to get with Andrew and we can go down there. So he kind of has a better idea of how he is envisioning this sign setting and then we can build around that. What's the, um, I wasn't here last month, but on the sponsor levels for Route 66 signs, bricks, paper, signage, a 12 by 12 paper it says $100. And then at sponsor levels, 12 by 12 paper, small let lettering, $300. What's the difference in in those two? It, a 12 by 12 paver for an individual, what is that? Do you just get your name on it or? I think it's the size of the lettering, the font. Yeah, because the, I'm trying to think which one that they just put on no, the purchase. That, no, that, those no. are totally different. Those are like totally different right. price. I just didn't know look wise though. What it the that lettering is for the sign itself that will be a temporary sign. Well it says twelve by twelve paper. Three hundred dollars. You get a twelve by twelve paper with that. Oh, I see. So you're gonna have the temp sign, and Correct. for three hundred dollars, you get it. You get a twelve by twelve paper and 12 12 small paper. lettering on the sign. Correct. I'm tracking yeah. it now. Okay. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. we didn't specify for. Okay. Okay. Well, when you said small, then I remembered. Yeah, we had. The, so basically, if you want okay. your company sign, that you know, not company name, to take up the whole top. So of is the that gonna be your, on like a? One of those, this is like banner our banner signs. Yeah, one of our banners. We'll have a banner, as many banners as we need made up to fulfill the. So you can get quite a few names on a banner, so. Especially because we have them printed double sided, so. Um, I did uh, locate. Um, I know this is on the Deep Fork side, but. Um, we had last year we used cornhole boards and this year we decided that we were going to have our own made i did go ahead and find somebody i already have them they're in our storage building i went ahead and got four sets um, to help make that better i believe we'll discuss um, tonight at the festival meeting if we can I think my wife's gonna paint them. I was gonna try to see if Palmer would do it, but that's just more of an expense that really don't need to take on. They were, corner boards are not cheap, especially with the price of wood going up. Yeah. So I was actually surprised that I was able to find them for what I did with the price of wood because this bought an entire house back. I don't know how much has gone up. Um, committee chairpersons, let's see, farmer's market would be the show first. Yeah. Okay, so this Saturday is our first market. Um, we have seven people of RCP so far. I told them they have until Wednesday at five. So plenty of time for advertising and changing the layout if need be. Uh, we've sent out a total of 18 applications, 10 of those being new people, eight returning from last year. And I think that's it. Okay. Seems to be catching on. Can you clarify, just because I keep giving you questions, on mm -hmm. what can and cannot be sold this year? I know some things passed, but mm -hmm. it's not going to take effect right away. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no can gifts. Nothing that you can at home yourself. Okay. Pretty much. 
Okay. Fresh so eggs will, and stuff are fine. And that's effective now? Yes. That's for this still, year. So okay. no. November that changes. Yes, in November it changes. Yeah, so next year we'll be able to do yes. back to Tommy mm -hmm. and have a pickle. eggs, I don't think, you're not supposed to sell no. eggs mm -hmm. at a market you, anyways yeah. without a... Uh, Approval from the staff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's it's a, not a, yeah, it's like a $15 permit. But I think they have to come out and check your uh, where your eggs are, and you can't reuse cartons. Mm -hmm. I guess if you do reuse them, maybe you need to paint them with your own logo on there to make sure your eggs are clean. Mm -hmm. And everything you grow or you make has to be yours, made in Oklahoma, grown in Oklahoma. So, I know there's co-ops around, and they're traveling out of state to get fruits and stuff. Mm -hmm. so none of that. But if you want to sell it, you gotta, it's got to be here. Yes. Okay. It has to be grown in Oklahoma. I yeah. prefer it that way. Anyways. So that new, um, the new bill that takes effect in November mm -hmm. covers canned goods. Yes. Like salsas. Canned goods. Baked goods. Jam uh, jellies. Mm -hmm. Those will be so You'll have to take a small safety course. Mm -hmm. Or not small, but a, it's not expensive. And so to be able to sell your dried herbs, I don't think you can do that now. Or like singly maybe. And you can, you'll be able to sell teas. I didn't know you couldn't do that. Oh. And they raise the cap to how much you can make if you're a home baker, if you're doing that type of thing at home. Because right now the limit is 20000 mm -hmm. And they moved it up to 75000 a year. So you can sell <coughs> fresh herbs mm -hmm. now. But, but not dry. Not dry. But not dry or, or making a homemade tea and function, yeah. You can't do that. We didn't have anybody that was, that no. was trying to do that. Okay. Just fresh herbs. So it's just okay. basically Tommy's pickles <laughs> and, and then yeah. and she's, <laughs> She has other stuff. Yeah, and she'll be back. So. Yeah. So everybody's going to have to contact the, Tommy the at his house, yeah. right? You need that contact. <laughs> Until next <laughs> It's the individual um, vendor's responsibility to follow yes. state law. Yep. So if somebody does have that on the booth, it's their responsibility to make sure. Yeah, that and that's in the application. In compliance with the law. Mm -hmm. That's in the vendor package. Yeah. It's not Michelle's responsibility. No. <laughs> it's the vendor's responsibility. Mm -hmm. So, hint, hint, when you see Tommy sitting in the back of this truck, <laughs> behind the farmer's market. Yeah. He's go see him back there. Yeah. He's, go see him back there. He's not like, selling at like the farmer's market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, behind us. That's not my area. So. <laughs> Only where we belong to. Yeah. It's all we're responsible for. He makes really good things. He really yeah. do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. It's the best pickles ever. Uh, I said we're not the only ones that thinks that. <laughs> no, that's why he sells out every weekend. Oh, and the pine senior. trees are one certain kind. No. Now they're all oh, the senior. Yeah, the yeah, senior. The, the we can do that. I have to get the applications in from the vendors. So they'll probably really start coming in next month. Because only one person has emailed it back. So we have to get all our applications in. Because each vendor has to sign their own application. And then I have to sign one as market manager. Oh, okay. And then I'll send them off. And we'll be good to go. And I'm going to make our own script, so I don't have to buy any. I've been talking to other organizations, farmers markets across the country, and that's what a lot of them suggest. Make your own one. Script. Like, I think I'm going to do just a like business card size. Because mm -hmm. I think the it's only $50 a season that they get on their card. Their it's a senior program. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the two for one, or no, no, no. just the senior. Yeah, just the senior farmers market. It's not for double up. Okay, program. nice. And they get fifty dollars a season. I think that's it. And it's through like um, EBT. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they'll uh, redeem it just like SNAP. Uh, SNAP. Yeah. Yeah. Like SNAP. Yeah. Just, just for just seniors. Like SNAP. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be really good. And beneficial. it's only good for that season. So if they don't use all their benefits this year, then they lose them. That's fantastic. And then they have to reapply next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did hear today that Arcadia went up quite a bit on the fee. So that might help you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hello. I haven't heard that. I heard that today. I heard they were going up. They're already high. 
So. Yeah, because they charge per week, per day you're there. Yeah, it's so much. However much you sell, it's a percentage. And then over $300, then that percentage goes up. And then over $800, it goes up again. Hmm. So. They don't know how they keep getting people to go. <sighs> sell so much there usually where they're at I mean yeah anyway. there's no reason why we can't control them all down here though <laughs> like we're 30 bucks for the entire year no percentage yeah, exactly and we and you can sell your snap and we can sell through mm -hmm. that yeah uh, okay. on the Fundraising and social, the fundraising is just the uh, Route 66 sign is the only thing we have really uh, established at this moment. Um, like I said, I will try to have that passed by the next board meeting, uh, the town board meeting. That way, by the time we have our May meeting, we will know if we can start selling those because we can't even put it out there to sell them. So I haven't made anything up to put it out there because John said we have to have it approved first. Um, so you do one on the agenda then? Yes, I do one on the agenda. So you shall be. And if like something happens and we can't get that done, I'll just let you know if you did sure. it. Sure, okay, thank you. Because it's what, 48 or 72? Yeah, uh, usually we get everything by Monday. Just okay. it gives us time. That's to, fine. I just, no, if you like, can just let me know the Monday before. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, we should be able to, I'll get with John and Andrew and we'll go down there and try to Perfect. map out something. And <laughs> um, our new business, uh, first discuss pathway walkway layout to uh, present to the town board. Um, <clears throat> basically, I, we're not going to discuss that this evening. Um, anybody that would like to be contacted when we are going to sit down and talk about it or walk <clears throat> down and do that. Just let me know, and I will gladly contact you um, and let you know that hey, John is John and you are free this day. Uh, and to, um, I'll obviously probably grab our interim as well to go ahead. down with us. <laughs> so, because um, John's last day is what the seventh. His last day is the seventh. Yeah. So, um, but I want to make sure it's done right. So I'll get. It. You're going to do good. We'll get all of them <laughs> involved. So if you want to be contacted, just let me know and I'll contact you and we can, or I'll just let everybody know once we get it done. If you'd rather have it that way. Um, to discuss an action on approval of the logo, we may have to fix any of this because. Yeah, I was like, we don't really have it yet, do we? So. I have one. I can show you the first one. He was supposed to have had the other one. I talked to him three times today. Yeah, I'd rather wait until we got both of them to. Yeah, well, we won't. Well if he then. doesn't have, I'm checking one more time. Okay. Make sure he didn't send it. <clears throat> okay. Well, at this moment, I guess we'll put no action on it because okay. he did not send it. Here in a few minutes, I'll pass around my. Phone. I can show you the first one. But, um, discuss the annual poker run. Um, it will be on Saturday, May 8th. Uh, it's the alumni weekend. Um, it's already advertised out there that the Chamber's doing it. It's for our scholarships. Um, I believe the parade starts at 11 as usual. Yes. So it'll just be following the parade. So we probably need to set up uh, volunteers be down there around 10-ish, just so we can get everything organized. I'll have all the printouts, and because we, um, last year we did it during the Deep Fork Festival, um, and we changed everything to have a, they have to sign a release form, that, they're, that way that we, they get hurt on their own equipment we don't get sued or at least we have something saying that they <clears throat> signed that away um so i'll have all of that printed out for us and everything but we we'll up there around 10 or 10 30 would be great we appreciated 
Women? Me. I've uh, never done that. Uh, we, meet, we meet over here at the gazebo. <coughs> okay. And they'll, they'll leave out. As soon as the parade's over, everybody will start gathering around. They'll announce who won the uh, parade floats. And then they'll start coming over. They may even come over beforehand and they'll start buying their entries. And then we'll have the six people out or five people the six spot is on mine uh, back here so uh, I'll need I'll need at least five people it is better if we can double up it goes a lot easier because sometimes 20 people show up at one and then one person gets overwhelmed but basically all you get if you've never done it you stand there you have a bag full of cards they reach in they draw out one they show you what it is you write it on their form with your initials that way we know that they didn't just make a good hand and they go on if they have 20 hands that i mean they can play as many as they want so as long as they pay for them they can play them. Um, and then at the end of it they'll bring it back their last card their bonus card is with me um, and we'll pick the top hand and whoever wins gets half the pot so um, the last like four times it's been well over six hundred dollars to the winner so do you have um, so the legion has the hamburger so Sakori and i will probably be tied up with that well yeah do we you have any appropriate number of volunteers because we're going to start cooking at 10 y'all mm -hmm. cooking at 10 and then until i and after the yeah. Until everybody's gone. You'll probably run until. We'll run 12, until. 12, 12, we'll 12. run until the poker runs over. I mean, somebody will be here until the poker runs over. So yeah, and anybody you know, they don't have to be chamber members, whatever. Just if you want to stand out there with, you know, somebody has their. We've had a couple of times. Uh, one of the coaches with their daughter last year was with the son. They stood at one of the locations just to give us two people at, you know, one, so. On the form, it has the stops? Yes, it does. The only stop that was changed is we moved uh, Witness driveway to the actual baseball field driveway. <clears throat> Yes, it is. All on the stops, and I'll print out more maps and stuff too. Um, let's see here. Um, discussion ways on um, to boost our membership slash volunteers for the chamber. I looked it out in the car. I have um, one idea I came up with. Uh, I purchased a cup and a pen that were handmade by one of the ladies that has her own business here in town um, and I thought about any offering it out to any new members that sign up business and or for the next two months and then just those or really this year up until that we will raffle off just trying to get they'll raffle off the pen and the cup together um, and I purchased those um, just, just trying something um, we had discussed last month about even finding somebody to sponsor somebody else you know um, bringing in like say hey I'll, I'll be willing to sponsor an individual <laughs> Them to come in if they wanted to just see how it is and they'll be a member this year for free to them um, just to get the members in here you know I, I just I think we need to look at reorganization of how the chamber meets and what it does for its members you know we come here we meet month after month we talk about general business that the chamber needs to take care of to somebody that's just a business owner or wants to be a member of that group, that type of stuff's not very interesting at all. 
it's not very interesting for somebody to come in and just talk about, you know, how we move it organizationally forward. <clears throat> if you look at maybe holding a chamber membership meeting, like I know some of the other chambers, they have a luncheon once a month, every other month or something like that for their members. Mm -hmm. It's not... And then they have a, like a board of directors they, meeting. Yeah, and then they have a board of directors meeting that would meet and handle all the business. business. So you're, you would have a board of directors, like five or six people on a board of directors, led by their president, vice president, treasurer, secretary, <clears throat> and they would meet monthly, could be during the day, could be whenever, and handle the business of the chamber. And then once every other month or maybe once a quarter hold a, a banquet or something a dinner where you could have a guest speaker or two guest speakers you you know just get everybody together and you, you would talk about what's going on in the community <clears throat> that might be you could focus your efforts a little bit more on providing a service to the membership because right now I mean they kind of not that not that our efforts we're focused really on doing these events. We're focused on uh, doing the <coughs> Easter egg hunt, stuff like that. But what are we providing to the business owner, to the member themselves? Because that's really a part of being a part of an organization of this, a business service organization, is what does your business get out of being a member of that organization? You know, <coughs> if we bring, and that's just a thought of, it, it might possibly bring more people to the table instead of, you know, uh, people just coming here and listening to us talk about general business month to month to month. Um, that's just my thought on it. I can just say whenever we used to go out for the state and speak at chamber meetings, it was nine times out of ten a luncheon meeting. Mm -hmm. Usually the speaker would go first, therefore, after the fact, I mean, they still call it a board meeting, but then you could do your business. Um, some of the communities, I know, depending on where they're at, you had to do a dinner or a breakfast because maybe, you know, especially if the business were working. Yeah. And around here, I mean, some of, a lot of persons are self-employed and things like that, so not everybody can just cut out at lunch or whatever, so. Well, and, and a lot of, uh, as the businesses grow or as we get, you could have, like, in Oklahoma City, sometimes they do business, uh, or business after dark or mm -hmm. business for breakfast they just hold meetings and it's basically an open house of that host business and people come and it's sponsored by the chamber the chamber would provide say if it was business after dark the chamber would hors d'oeuvres and drinks or whatever sure. and the same for breakfast they would serve um you know some stuff that in my opinion that's just reinvesting the dollars that the chamber makes into promoting the business that's hosting that so therefore, that business is getting something out of being a member of the chamber. Um, you know, really a lot of the efforts that, which is, that we're doing here is we're more civic organization mm -hmm. than we are business service organization. And as the community grows, you know, as new businesses come on, they're gonna be looking for that, you know, probably more, a little bit more out of it. <clears throat> but that's my thought on that. Water. That's my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's Chandler does that, and uh, Stroud does that, and Craig does that. Their chambers that way. Uh, now, Stroud doesn't really have, they did for a while have a luncheon. Um, I can't remember if they had it once a month or once a quarter, but they had a luncheon. But their main chamber meeting is just their, their board. Craig does the same thing, and then they have a a lunch at uh, they meet at Ken's Pizza and have they have lunch and then uh, they have a speaker, but they don't conduct any business right. there. Um, Chandler does the same way. They have a speaker. They do yard of the month. Um, the chamber does the yard business of the month. Of, no, or? they do business of the month. Business of the month. Business of the month. That's why Meeker does yard of the month. They do, but but. Meeker has a, their meeting is with everybody. They conduct their business there and they have lunch. And they so, do theirs during the day, don't they? They do at, lunch, at noon. Um, and a different business provides lunch. Um, it's, the, it's the most well attended chamber that's a, the Meeker's that, we, that we attend. It's nothing for them to have 30 or 40 people there. Fix their population. 
Uh, 14, 15. I mean, that's what I would say. It's I'm just, just yeah, because, well, well Prig is, you know, Prig is between 25 and 3, right. so probably around 2,000, yeah. I would say. Okay. Okay. Twice what we are. Maybe. I mean, they're about, yeah. <clears throat> so everyone does it differently. But, you know, that way, if you presented, so I, I mean, just for thought, if you presented, if we said, well, we're going to hold a, a quarterly banquet or whatever, some sort of quarterly gathering, and we could offer, you know, say we're going to have our state senator here, <laughs> we're going to have, you know, the county commissioner here, we're going to have, you know, somebody, um, a motivational speaker or whatever, you know, and then at those meetings we invite people from all over and, and then it's also an opportunity to gain more membership because those people will come to hear that speaker but then also we're, we're going to talk them into signing up as a membership which will therefore pay for whatever we invest into you know those events <clears throat> um, people might be more likely to come to an event like that knowing that they're going to walk away with that experience of hearing that speaker because they want to hear what they come to versus oh I gotta go volunteer for another board and, and set and do business that's just my thought on it. so how do we get from here to there <laughs> well, I think it's just you know you probably need to set out and think maybe three or four months down the road of what what would we like to present to the community like what kind of speaker would we like to have what kind of who would who would gain the most interest you know um, politicians are, are pretty easy to get to your <laughs> mm -hmm. event, especially, you know, we have one that lives here in the community. Uh, <clears throat> Kevin would probably, I'm sure, come and talk fairly easily. Uh, but then uh, Zach Taylor, you know, he could come. Um, we have a new county commissioner, get him to come over. You know. uh, Again, that's there. How do we get from here, this meeting, well, to that so you, type of meeting. You probably need to have um, Do we need draft to some bylaw changes. Okay. And change just basically some of the language in your bylaws that outline um, the board of directors, which the bylaws talk about the board of directors. And in fact, I mean, the board of directors is current, I believe, in the bylaws. It's been a while since I looked at them, but is the chamber officers. So you would change that up a little bit and have, you know, a five or six person, I'd say for our size, probably a five or six person board of directors, probably five person, just make that mm -hmm. easy. Tiber. Five person That's board like, of directors with a, and you would have a chair or a chamber, a president, a vice, and then you could have a secretary, treasurer, and then two basically just members. <clears throat> and then, um, that board of directors would drive the drive the goals for those community or those um, banquets, <clears throat> and then you could set and you could come up and brainstorm about what what you want them to be, and then just plan those and advertise them. But it wouldn't be that hard to get from here to there because then you would just like I said draft or change your bylaws to a point where it's just you know you have a, a business meeting once a month at whatever time. It's already there. The business meeting part? There it's there. So it wouldn't be the board hard. of directors, everything's already it, in it. It wouldn't be hard to So I mean maybe on number five when it talks about a guest speaker to every meeting, you know, maybe we do somehow do this but make this like you said quarterly to start with. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean it would make it, oh, yeah. uh, well we're really I mean, even if we're Western Area Chamber of Commerce, so if you say seven four eight eight one, you know. 4,000 people if we're trying to reach that target of a number you know we're gonna have maybe best case scenario 400 people that we could get involved in this you know right. and, and out of that maybe only <laughs> we're seeing one percent maybe or, <laughs> or less show up but even if we had you know 400 people if we had 10 percent of that show up to um, one of those banquets that's success I mean, 40 people showing up for, a, you know, an event that we're putting off four times a year that just gets people in and, and have open, you know, open discussion about what they want to see, what they want to, you know, happen for their community, for the 
But it also, I think it puts something back in the pocket of that business owner that signs up or that person that signs up for the chamber, you know. We don't charge members for this event. They come, they're, it's part of their membership. They get to come and enjoy that. And some of the, some of the small businesses are uh, the ones that I've talked to. It's not that they're not interested in the chamber. They've just opened a business. And well, they're they working. Yeah, they well, they're working for Invest to Dawn. You mm -hmm. do not have time. No. However, I know when we were talking about the Easter egg thing, and it was kind of not after the fact, but kind of in that zone where it had to be done. But anyway, it was like, okay, well, I wish I would have done that. She said, I wish I would have done the month previously because we would have been glad to donate stuff or give money or. So some of you businesses. Plan ahead, yes. So it, at your meeting, you can right. notify your members what you're going to do. And then have your sign up sheets mm -hmm. for them to be able to sign up to help. Because they those wouldn't events. mind volunteering. Right. Because so, right. they've got like seven exactly. children, so they would have enjoyed going. Just have them. Yeah. You know, um, but at the same token, it was just the timing was off a little bit. Right. So, but some of the business just have different desires than coming to a meeting or anything. Well, and, and we talk like caught to do a spaghetti dinner with salad and breadsticks for 40 people literally costs like. <laughs> 50 bucks yeah. <laughs> I mean this doesn't really cost much right. of anything right. to put that off you know and and get a free speaker or two or even if you want I mean motivational speakers are kind of meh but mm -hmm. you know if you paid somebody two or three hundred dollars to come and 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 give a presentation a, a motivational you know something people enjoy that it's it's you know it's something they can get back and it wouldn't cost the chamber really a whole lot at all and some simple stuff that we hear is the community, businesses, things like that, chamber, they want to meet the new survival flight folks. Mm -hmm. They want to know who the police officers are, who the fire departments are, who, I mean, I see, they see them, they know names, but they not, may not know them and do a kind of mix and mingle kind of thing, so. Somebody uh, from Hudeburg Chevrolet come in and talk to them. Yeah. And yes. You know, I mean, it's, it's like, mm -hmm. that <clears throat> makes them aware of what's going on, but it also helps Hudeburg too. I mean, yeah. just. Mm -hmm. That's very true. We do have a commitment from David to join the chamber, by the way. From who? David Hudeburg. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mark talked to him, so. They're uh, very community oriented, from what I hear. Mm -hmm. And there's some businesses we've had in the past that are no longer members, which I don't know why. Um, just throwing that out there. So. Well, <clears throat> well I mean, well, I, the nice I need thing, to follow think, up with them is what I'm if, saying. If yes. we could get to, you know, where a business, if they want to, if they want to be involved, you know, at the management level or the board, they can do that, but. If, if we can just say, hey, just show come up, show up yeah. to this event four times a year, have dinner or lunch, sure. and, and you know, it might be a little less com committal. You know, it's a, less of a commitment mm -hmm. to that person. Sure. Sometimes people don't like and to one of your, commit too much. One of your things could even be your thing you were wanting to do, you know, kind of like your street piece thing. You mm -hmm. Like a, a do, community yeah, that dinner is one of your, in November. Dinner. That's just something you know. I'm your question answered. Not reinvent the wheel, but just try something different. When it hurt. six that is not on y'all's because I thought of it literally walking out the door was uh, such an action on I just realized that our end of the year is here for our school kids so um, we got to turn we got to meet and vote on scholarships so when do we want to do that are we doing we are we voting on um, how many scholarships um, we usually do, I believe it is two. Mm -hmm. um, they're both 500. Neither one from last year that I know of has asked for their money. So, really? Yeah. 
Yeah, because I. Do you? Yeah. I'm like, when is it when your child? It's changed. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, that happens. My kids do this. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It does. So. In, I'm like the 20, 20 I'm sitting here thinking what year it was. Did we not? We did two. Uh, the the ledgers are at the office because I only keep 2021 20, in here. But to date, we have not done any of that. For no, any the, kids. this year I know because they would have, they would contact me and. It was the year prior. We did yeah. It. I'm just sorry. I'm just trying to get through yeah. my head. So. So yeah. And what's going on? And we raised. I'm gonna be a grandma. We raised six hundred and <laughs> something dollars at the poker run for that. Okay. And last year, you know, voted and said into your into the policies. You know, vote a solid policy on how many is two five hundred dollars. Two five hundred dollars. Yeah, we voted for. And then, <clears throat> so the. The money you have that set aside in a, in a separate fund, so that's out of the general operating, right? Yeah, but it's in general. so that I can tell you for me, I have nothing set aside in a separate fund. But I mean, it's out it's, of the general offer, so it'd be yes, out of that five thousand. Yes, it's 000. in that. Yes. So. That when we did so the I'm saying, the last two years labeled, it's but, really taken a toll on more expenses, more expenses, and we can't even get membership you know how do we get more events to actually make money for the chamber too or in a matter of three years we're going to be broke well <laughs> and i know that eventually I mean, especially after this year hopefully the festival normal. goes mm -hmm. just as well as it did last year and we can that money can be i mean it's all in the same account anyways but it could be a portion of that can start going back to the chamber because that was my ultimate goal with it anyways to help raise our funds through there too but that's not currently you know in there it's in it but it's not it's there to last year's is to help us make this year happen so that hopefully then we just replenish that and that's really we don't need any more than that to start with so we can just um, everything made this year technically could go into the general operating fund and stay there yes. but and that's what i want to happen and hopefully it keeps going and growing even more well, you than should that should be how you should have a set expense for what it costs to put your the festival on right and then everything over that's profit to right. your general to fund the general balance. fund yeah and um which and then you've been the poker run was is advertised only, only yes. going to scholarships right but we always spend double what we make on it because we got two scholarships at 500 dollars a piece and we average five six hundred dollars off the poker run our portion now if we didn't give half the pot away a probably would lose half the people that want to play and <laughs> right b we but know, now now you might do better this year though because in years past it wasn't advertised as benefiting the scholarship and last year the poker run was only to people from in town basically mm -hmm. it wasn't an alumni weekend so you're going to have more people that are focused on that school you know because so they might do better you might do better yeah <clears throat> Well, especially because they're doing 2020 and 2021. So they might only exactly. have a little bit more money for it. Yeah. But on so just on your action item, just on the scholarships, have you already got the applications to the school? Yeah, but does that mean they have them? No. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's the same one every year. I mean, they they know that, and I, but, and I told them that. <clears throat> I mean, because the end of school is next week. Yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the third. What May thirteenth? Thirteenth is the last. Yeah. Last. yeah. <laughs> next. Well, they don't have school next so, Friday, uh, and then the following Friday they're out completely. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Uh, graduation is the same night as the town board yes. meeting. Yes. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Oh. oh. None of the board members have kids. It was brought up, they didn't want to change it. So. Hmm. 
when it says it's set year year to year, <laughs> or set for a year in advance. What time yeah. is the board meeting? Five o'clock. Hmm. Yeah. What time is graduation? Like seven. Yeah, usually. So the board meeting will be probably over. <laughs> Maybe. Um. So somebody needs to. You said you were going to get in touch with a counselor. Yeah, I'll, I will contact them again tomorrow. And like, so like, I'm going to get told the exact same thing. We, met, Candy and myself, last year went up there. We scheduled the time like weeks in advance. We called the day before to even make sure that we had the hour blocked off with the seniors. Um, we would have all the seniors together, and that did not even come close to happening. And then we got told that it was basically handed out to a select few and told here, turn this in. Because there was, how many graduating last year? 30, mm -hmm. 30 I think it was 37. <laughs> we had 12 applications. Nine, nine applications. That's pretty good. I was going to say, that's nine out of 30? That's pretty good. I mean, really. No, nine out, yeah, but there was, literally, there was 30, out of the 37, it's usually not a very high number, it says they're even going to college mm -hmm. or trade school, and like, there was only two of them that said that they were not, gotcha. the rest of them, so why would you not want? They just don't get it done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seniors just don't get it done. Yep. They just don't take the initiative to fill it out. But I had Some ten. Of, I had ten personal ones tell me that they never knew anything. They about didn't know anything about because we didn't get the chance to meet with them. Gotcha. We got to meet with like twelve, and it was for hi. This is the application. If you have any questions, let us know. Kind gotcha. of deal. So it was very frustrating. Are you, you trying to set, set it up, up with Colson or Denker? Both. Okay, and, Colson's out right now. Yeah. Yeah. No, this year we haven't set up oh, anything. Okay. No. I was gonna say, cause he's this year we have not set up anything. Yeah. So they just know about it and I haven't given them a date to give it back to me. So when is it even set it's to canceled. be handed out? Last year they canceled. didn't have it, so Maria they just handed signed. it to them. Because nobody, they didn't have a graduation or nothing. Night. So <laughs> remember, they did that drive. Yeah, thing. the parade. The parade. So the does parade anybody parade. even know when senior night or the awards ceremony is? Oh. So we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> so basically, whenever I find out tomorrow from them when they're actually handing the award to them, the letter. I'll tell them the couple of days beforehand, I guess, basically they need to have them to us. It doesn't take us that long to go through them. And we'll, That's if anybody's uh, even been given them. They probably haven't. What well, I'm well, saying is, is Ms. they Ms. had two weeks. In the hospital. They had two she, weeks, so. She had like appendicitis or something, I think, or? Oh, I don't know. I, I just knew that Colson had, then, his family has COVID. Because they usually Everybody's, do, there's been a if lot graduation is Thursday, then they usually do it on the Wednesday night, the Wednesday night awards and baccalaureate and all that stuff. So we would probably need them um, that Friday before is what we do, which will be next Friday. Sorry. They're out of school, so it'll be Monday. And then we'll have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to pick the two winners, which won't, it won't take us a 30 minute meeting. You to could just like screenshot or take a picture of the application and email them to everybody and then we mm -hmm. could just email back our nomination. Yeah. And then just exactly. Tally them That's what I'm saying. It won't take that long. Don't even need to have a meeting for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, just, I'll have to, I'll have to spend time sending it out to everybody. So. Because last year it was just, this me, you, and Candy. <coughs> Last year was crazy. With COVID, so yeah. That was in the <laughs> throes of COVID. I'm down, so whatever. So, on that, since it says in action, it'll be 
they're out the Friday. So it'll be the Monday, what is that day's date? Yep. Monday the tenth. They will have to have them turned in by end of school day on Monday the tenth. And then I will physically go up and pick them up. Since it's already written, I don't think you do. I don't, like, I don't think we need an action. If, because if you just, I mean, if it's already right, if, yeah. If you contact the school and they have the and they get you scholarship, if no one applies for the scholarship, then just lose on the next year. I mean, if the school has the scholarship applications and they know that it's supposed to be, I mean, I would assume that the counselor would make the kids aware of any scholarship that's available and okay i'll uh, remind again tomorrow well i would just remind them and if they don't turn it in then the scholarship fund continues over to next year as uh, i mean there's a lot of scholarships that actually go unclaimed every year oh yeah so. okay all right thank you General business, none, membership update. Um, went over that. No. One new. Any other guests, comments, or suggestions? Alice is American. <laughs> crazy. Okay. And I will, we adjourn this one. We're here.